Welcome to the ORCID Advisors Compliance Training Series, Export Controls. Exports of Technical Data and Defense Services under the ITAR. In this video, we will discuss the approval process to export technical data and defense services under the ITAR. It should be noted that on May 24, 2013, DDTC published a Notice of Proposed Rulemaking that revised the definition of defense service to clarify which activities are controlled. Until this rule is finalized, however, companies must continue to operate under the current definition of defense service, which is what we will examine. What is a defense service? Recall that the ITAR controls exports of defense articles, technical data, and defense services. A defense service is distinguished from a defense article and technical data because it's an action undertaken on behalf of or for the benefit of a foreign person whether that person is located in or outside the United States. If the activity is captured as a defense service, it will be subject to the ITAR export license requirements and restrictions, even though no physical article is exported during performance of the defense service. The term defense service is defined in the ITAR at section 120.9, and it currently covers three types of activity. One, furnishing assistance. 2. Military training, and 3. Furnishing technical data. Let's examine each of these activities. The first is furnishing assistance to foreign persons, whether in the United States or abroad, in the design, development, engineering, manufacture, production, assembly, testing, repair, maintenance, modification, operation, demilitarization, destruction, processing, or use of defense article. Assistance includes training in any of these areas. The second activity that constitutes a defense service is providing military training to foreign units and forces, regular and irregular. The training may include formal or informal instruction, correspondence courses, technical, educational, or information publications, and media of all kinds, training aids, orientation, exercises, and military advice. What is technical data? Technical data is a term of art defined at ITAR, section 120.10. It means information required for the design, development, production, manufacture, assembly, operation, repair, testing, maintenance, or modification of defense articles. Technical data includes information in the form of blueprints, drawings, photographs, plans, instructions, or documentation. Technical data is also classified information relating to defense articles or defense services, information covered by an invention secrecy order, and certain software directly related to defense articles. Technical data does not include general scientific, mathematical, or engineering principles commonly taught in schools, or information in the public domain, as defined in ITAR section 120.11, basic marketing information on function or purpose or general system descriptions of defense articles. Export of technical data without a license is a fairly common violation under the ITAR because it is a type of export that can occur instantaneously by way of electronic transmissions. As you can understand, Technical data can be easily and immediately transmitted to a foreign person anywhere in the world by email, fax, and telephone, to name just a few. Other methods of delivery or presentation include mail, conversation, presentations, training videos, and instruction manuals. Manufacturing know-how is a type of technical data and includes detailed manufacturing processes and techniques necessary to turn design into a finished article. Manufacturing know-how receives special treatment under the ITAR and generally may only be exported to a foreign person pursuant to a Manufacturing License Agreement, or MLA, approved in advance by DDTC. We'll talk more about MLAs and other types of agreements in a moment. It is important to emphasize that it is possible to have a licensable activity that is a defense service even if technical data is not disclosed or used in the performance of the service. Furthermore, when the defense service includes disclosure of technical data, 
the application for export license or approval must include a description of the actual technical data that will be transmitted. There are three ways to export technical data. The first is with a DSP-5 permanent export license. A DSP-5 can be used to export technical data without any other kind of defense service. It must be a permanent export license because technical data cannot be exported temporarily. A DSP-5 generally cannot be used to export technical data for foreign production purposes or for technical assistance. These kinds of exports generally will require either a Technical Assistance Agreement, or TAA, or a Manufacturing License Agreement, or MLA. A DSP-5 license is also used to export technical data for the purposes of offshore procurement of defense articles. There are strict limitations on the use of a DSP-5 for offshore procurement, listed in ITAR 124.13. The third way to export technical data is under a license exemption. We will examine license exemptions under the ITAR in the next video. Agreements. The following are some common examples of activities that may require either a TAA or an MLA. Supporting direct commercial sales to foreign parties. Providing overseas maintenance or training support. Technical evaluation, demonstrations, consultations with foreign parties, release of manufacturing data or rights, efforts to import technology from overseas, support U.S. government, sponsored foreign contracts. There are three types of agreements. One, Technical Assistance Agreement, or TAA. A TAA is an agreement for a U.S. person to perform a defense service or disclose technical data a TAA may also authorize the foreign party to assemble defense articles, but a TAA may not allow conveyance of production rights or manufacturing know-how to the foreign party. To do this, the U.S. person must obtain a manufacturing license agreement. 2. Manufacturing License Agreement, or MLA an MLA is used to grant authorization or license to a foreign person to manufacture defense articles abroad. It may involve only assembly or repair of hardware overseas. The foreign party, or licensee, must have manufacturing know-how to complete the assembly or repair. 3. Warehouse and Distribution Agreement, or WDA. This type of agreement is used to establish a warehouse or distribution point overseas for defense articles to be exported from the U.S. to entities in approved sales territory. Please note that any MLA or TAA that involves manufacture of significant military equipment, or SME, overseas, regardless of its value, will require DDTC to notify Congress. Because firearms and major components are SME, this is something to keep in mind in terms of the processing time for a TAA or MLA. DDTC has recently revised its guidelines for agreements, and they can be downloaded from the DDTC website at pmddtc.state.gov. Thank you for watching this segment of our video training series. Viewers are encouraged to seek professional advice prior to assessment, implementation, or execution.